The trial against former Chief of Intelligence Miguel Massa has begun in Colombia's high school. Massa is suspected to have played a part in the assassination of left-leaning presidential candidate Luis Carlos Galán in 1889, which was a favorite to win the election. Miguel Massa is accused of receiving bribes to reduce the number of bodyguards and Galán's security detail the day he was riddled with bullets by cartel members under the order of drug trafficker Pablo Escobar. Galán is remembered for opposing the growing powers of drug cartels and for his left-leaning proposals. As the issue of uh, victims and justice continues to be widely discussed in Colombia's peace negotiations in Havana, experts are drawing attention to the importance of understanding justice in its uh, full complexity. Our correspondent Natalia Margarita explains. Compensation, guarantees of non-repetition, truth and acknowledgement of responsibility from the perpetrators are among the rights of victims within the frame of transitional justice. That, as according to renowned jurist Gustavo Gallón, who believes the discussion on justice in Colombia has been wrongly reduced to the issue of prison sanctions. What initially is important to ask is not whether prison terms are going to be applied or not, but rather if there's going to be recognition of the damages, forgiveness asked for, and a serious compensation offer for the victims. As long as that is guaranteed, it is possible to, to have flexibility in the sanctions. For lawyer and member of the Historical Commission for the Conflict, Victor Moncayo, the issue of justice that's been widely discussed in Havana necessarily implies an agreement on the nature of Colombia's internal conflict, as well as the recognition of the complexity of factors that have played a role on it. Now from that point we can start talking about the resulting responsibilities and among those responsibilities are of course the ones of armed organizations but also the ones of state agents and state apparatuses. Since 2008, Luz Marina has been waiting for the state to acknowledge its responsibility over the murder of her 26-year-old son, whose body was then presented in rebel uniform as having been killed in combat by the army. 5,700 young poor men have been extrajudicially killed in order to boost combat kill rates in what is known as the false positive scandal. In order to speak about transitional justice, I believe the state should first acknowledge its human rights violations, and mainly and foremost that it also bears responsibility for victims, victims that are from the state and not from the insurgency groups. Luz Marín is just one face of the many victims for whom justice, in the wake of the ongoing peace process, must start with truth clarification and the recognition of the crimes that all actors have committed over the course of more than 50 years of war. Natalia Margarita, Telesur, Bogotá, Colombia.